watch it. You are about to embark upon a new video game adventure. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Dunk Tank. This week we're doing a special episode. We're taking, uh, we're bringing in some viewers and they're gonna ask some questions. All right, we're bringing in uh, Al Cetus, a longtime fan. Uh, he's coming in, he's asking us a question. Ladies and gentlemen, Al Cetus. Hey, what's up, guys? Al, baby. What's up? What are you saying today? So, today I just wanted to ask about music. Now, I know you guys like rap and stuff. Yeah. So I, I made a discovery. So I saw on Kendrick Lamar's live SNL performance of the song I, and I saw that in the comment section, you hoped that the album <laughs> would have a version like that. <laughs> and then the album actually had one like that. Yeah, I'm the producer for Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so like, what kind of artists you like and stuff? Well, you know, the real guys, you gotta go with D'Angelo, of course. Come yes. on, D'Angelo. Red Dead too, baby. <laughs> yeah, he's in that Red Dead. He's he never makes an album for like a hundred years. Is that he's a got... positive? No. <laughs> 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 he's got like three albums out. Yeah. I guess Mar Marvin Gaye, classic, uh, Stevie Wonder, you know. I love Stevie Wonder's rap album. Yeah, I was he still on rap. Oh no, he went back now. Oh. <laughs> to metal. <laughs> God, Jesus Christ. Back death, to his death metal. Yeah. I've been hearing you play a lot of jazz. Yeah. In yeah. the car. Mm. Listen to any King Crimson, Jamuk? Oh shit. Court of the Crimson King. Oh yeah, no, that's their that's that's their regular shit. That's the <laughs> real one. That's, yo, that's their good songs, of course. That's definitely hot shit. But Court of the Crimson King, that's hardly their fucking abstract, regular ass or uh, crazy jazz rock that they've got going on there. <laughs> that's that's normal. <laughs> I was listening to one where they're just making fucking like whale noises. Oh yeah. Like, like, yeah, I I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember that one, thankfully. Did you see the um the auto-tuned whale video? I, I, I have whale. not seen an auto-tuned whale, what is that? but I want to. Is that what they sampled? Yeah. That's what I listen to when I go to work. Oh boy, wow. Drive to work in auto tune whales. Where do you work? Do you work at like an aquarium or something? <laughs> you no. work shoveling gravel nine to five. <laughs> nine to five, listening to auto tune whales for eight hours. I didn't realize there was enough of that to listen for that long. <laughs> you know, whales, they're talking all the time. You can always get a new whale track. It's <laughs> gotta go out to your a local nice long aquarium. recording. Yeah. Yeah, so I usually listen to this whale, auto tune whale, auto tune <laughs> elephant. Yeah, I hate when he puts on the elephant CD in the car. <laughs> Wait, that's real? People always think that we're like honking our car horn at them or something. We, f we did find a bird <laughs> sounds radio station. Oh. Like yeah, just actual good. radio, <laughs> just going yeah. to the radio station, just like bah, 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 just a bunch of bird noises, <laughs> just ambient bird noises, and the and I was like, okay, let's turn it off. And Leah's like, no, I like this. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. it's just bird noises. <laughs> that was the, nice. Have you guys ever been to Rainforest Cafe? <laughs> yeah, that place is like a circus. Mm. It's like that in your car. <laughs> Yeah, right. Maybe we tuned into their channel. The we Rainforest in. Cafe in. channel. <laughs> and welcome to the Rainforest Cafe station. <laughs> all, all Rainforest Cafe all the time. And now we're going ob over to a local dinner eater. <laughs> you can hear the knife and fork just <laughs> <bang> <laughs> <on> the <plate. laughs> 
just has a mic on the fucking table. They don't even know it's being recorded. Like... <laughs> they don't. They don't even know. <laughs> well, it sounds like one of those weird, like ASMR roleplay channels, like Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Rainforest <laughs> Cafe dining, dining ASMR. ASMR. They yeah. get a couple sitting there talking about how the food shit, just ragging it the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't order the fucking burger. <laughs> this meat is raw. This oh, meat is my raw. fries are cold. <laughs> it's like everybody, everybody they're micing on live radio is just like complaining about the rainforest. The game is weird because of the rain, like thunder sound effects. The whole entire time you're trying to Did they plan it. that? Did they just play like a loop of like <laughs> they just play like ambient sound in there? Is that yeah. is that how they do it? I think so. I mean I, I like control control sounds. from the rainforest. I've been to a rainforest cafe in my area and I have a little tiki mug to, to tell the tale. <laughs> but I will say this the they have like a gorilla and everything in there, like an animatronic gorilla that pops out from what? Yeah. Yeah, they had like crazy. a talking tree and stuff. This is definitely crazy. shit going on in there. Yeah, I remember nuts. they had a big ass like they had a bunch of. <clears throat> I mean, it's not like high budget, but it is nuts that they are doing that. <laughs> mm. Don't you remember that picture I showed you like last week where like that guy got divorced and he was like, "Finally, I can put my <laughs> rainforest cafe talking <laughs> tree in the living room where it belongs." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that guy got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> well, back on the music subject. Um, I actually like to listen to a album made for plants a lot. Oh yeah. They don't. They don't make albums for plants. Yes, they do, Sean. No, that. What? There's a lot of them. Yeah. This for plants is... to listen to. <laughs> yes. Plants like music. It's a fact. What? No, that's they grow better. Like, what is it? Like, can I you mean, explain that? It, it makes legend. the plants happy. The one I like to listen to a lot <clears throat> is called Plantasia, and it's by um, <laughs> Mort Garson. That's crazy. That's actually really cool. Yeah. It's like some crazy electronic music. It's like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is that no, what there's like, like different. That's the ode to the African violet. I think he is referring to <laughs> different plants, like different styles. Some are more mellow. Yeah. <laughs> like succulents, they're more into like Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Black I didn't know sabers. that. Have you been researching? Yeah. <laughs> He's playing the Metallica behind your back, Leah. Apparently, to the succulents. <laughs> <laughs> I had a that's what they like. I have a friend that used to play classical music for his dog when he left. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea too, yeah. Does that work? <laughs> yeah, the dog's Work's like for what? I guess it works. The the dog's like, I don't know, like an anxiety thing. The dog's pretty good at chess now. <laughs> <laughs> dogs make him tea every morning. <laughs> as far as dogs go. <laughs> Yeah, they say like if you play like Beethoven for a sleeping baby, they turn off smarter. Yeah, right? that's true. Same thing. Same thing for a dog. Okay. All right. Well, Sean, do you have any musical? Yeah, uh, I think my top two favorite uh, rap artists personally would be uh, Will Smith. Oh. And yeah. Yep. Uh, Wait, is that serious? And uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, that's a that's good actually choice. a good pick. Oh, Weird Al's a good pick. Yeah, yeah, those are those are the only two that I can actually say that that I've ever really listened to, though. So what? What's your favorite? You don't no, music? no Kendrick, no, no J Cole, nothing. No, no, no. I don't. I don't partake personally. What's your oh favorite Will Smith album? Uh, my favorite Will Smith album would definitely be that one that I heard that one time that I don't remember the name of. Big Willie <laughs> style. Jeez, I didn't know Sean didn't like music. Uh, I would it, probably, yeah, I would say Big <laughs> Willie style was, you know, he really kind of hit his stride with that first one. And none of the ones that came afterwards. I mean, they were okay, but it was like a downward <laughs> slope. None of them. Do you have a favorite Weird Al song? Oh, geez. Uh, maybe Angry White Boy Polka is up there. <laughs> what? Mm. 
sounds like a good thing. Is that really? This <laughs> pretty good. I used to yeah. listen the oh shit God. out of fucking Albuquerque for some reason. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is a that is a <laughs> the live renditions of that are amazing because oh he God. just like turns an eleven minute song into like a twenty minute song. Yeah. He was performing at BlizzCon live. Weird Al. Weird Al. Yeah. Wow. Wow. He's a big Overwatch fan. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Plays Winston. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. When is Weird Al going to do a Winston-themed album? <laughs> what about you, Whoa? Oh, well, I already know all the guys you listen to. Yeah, you probably do. All right, hit me with them. System of a Down. Yeah, all right. Wait, what? Damn straw? What? Yeah. Really? Uh, mm-hmm. Great thing. But what like, else? still like today, that's who you're listening was, to? Sometimes when I'm just driving home on a long ride, I'm like, yo, hit me up with that... Uh, Mesmerize album. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even. I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. Saying that. Mesmerize, I'm hypnotize. Sure. They're like the my least favorite System of a Down albums, but some something keeps drawing me back to them lately. You know. Wow. I don't know okay. why. Maybe and also, like, he listens to Muse. That's true. That's Muse true. Like, All right. Haven't so done that so much them. lately. <laughs> Got the King Crimson. Haven't done that too much lately either, though. I haven't really been listening to music lately that much. I what mean, the heck? What? What's with like you a, guys? I swing in and out. Me and Jason you know? listen all the time. What the hell? Yeah, I feel like I've been... If I've been listening to anything lately, it's been audiobooks. Oh, okay. that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so I'm really... Yeah, that sounds to a lot of them. I listen to those when I do laundry, usually. Or yeah. I listen to the Kiki's Delivery Service soundtrack. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, well, I think that was a good overview of our music tastes, no? Wait a minute. Listen, you guys gotta listen to D'Angelo. Listen to (laughs) D'Angelo. D'Angelo Voodoo. That album, he goes crazy. Alright. Sounds spicy. Real quick question, do you like Childish Gambino? Because after this is a chicken wing, I got some impressions that... You love Gambino. Uh, I like his TV show. <laughs> <laughs> great. Well, thank you for your great question and having a little chat with us. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Thanks for coming. Now telling. get out. Now yeah, get, get the <laughs> hell out of here. Get the, get get out. the fuck out of here. Leave. All right. <laughs> okay, he's out. Great guy. Great guy. I'll see yeah, you. yeah I love that guy. I think we can prepare for our next caller. Official Pizza Hut. Hello, Hello. is it working now? There he is. is. In a sense, yeah. Pizza Hut would like to apologize for those technical difficulties. Thank you, Pizza Hut. (laughs) All right, yeah. So uh, what kind of questions you got for Jason or in general Pizza Hut? Okay, let let me get the script. In this vast uh, site called YouTube, which what is your favorite YouTube video or like one of your favorites? The best YouTube video is Short Star Wars. Short I'm Star sure you, Wars? I'm sure Short Star Wars. Wars. You're with them. Can we get a description of it? Yeah. It's about a seven second video. So Luke Skywalker, he's sitting in the in Ben Kenobi's house. And he asked him, he's like asking him about his father. It's like, oh, that's, I heard you fought with my father in the Clone Wars. And then Obi-Wan goes, Darth Vader is your father. And then it plays the end credits. <laughs> and that's the best video That's the on short the version site? of Star Wars. That's, that's the, the best, best video on all of YouTube, apparently. It's the best one yet. I'll have to correct you. It's 10 seconds. No way, no, it's 9 seconds. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, 9 seconds. The perfect length. So it took you longer to describe that video than it would have for me to go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's so deep. There's like more to it, but you just gotta rewatch it so you can really understand it. <laughs> gotta peel back the layers, right? <laughs> like an onion, like from Shrek one. No, no. That that one may or may not be a classic. I will say, what about the next Star Wars? Oh, Bobby that's Hacker. a good one. Yeah, that's a yeah. classic. You know? I have my own Death Star. Yep, yep, he has his own Death Star. 
I don't know if we should go into any more detail of any of the other words that are used <laughs> in that video. But, uh, I forgot how profane that was. <laughs> I mean, literally, come on, every single word. It's basically, I mean, it's basically a Disney movie is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what inspired Disney to buy Star Wars. They saw that and they said, wow. Look at the potential. Yeah, look at the look at what we can look at what we can do. <laughs> we can do this with these characters. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I have a new favorite genre of YouTube video. Light music. What is it? Um, so it's turtles or tortoises, and then they find a shoe, and <laughs> they think it's another turtle, so they start humping it. Wow. But this. <laughs> <laughs> Every one though, they make the same noise and they like so... they stick their tongue out and they just go. Oh yeah. I've seen that. It's, it's like hilarious. The saddest noise ever. It's so it funny. A... They all do that. <laughs> 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 yeah, so if you want to see. That is definitely funny. probably the funniest animal reproduction noise. Yeah! It's so feeble, and they don't even know it's not a turtle, they're humping. It's like they're on a shoe, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is depressing. That is practiced. Try to make a big Yoshi sound. <laughs> it's basically the same noise. Ooh, classic. Food reviewer makes... Pancakes. Dash one of the class. Yes. Oh. Cooking with Tyler. Pancakes. Let me set the scene. Okay. He makes pancakes. <laughs> All right. Scene set. Wow. Go on. He uh, pulls out a box of Aunt Jemima pancake mix. Yeah. And the the recipe calls for like a tablespoon of butter. Butter. So he like puts like three sticks of butter on a plate. <laughs> And then he, <laughs> <laughs> he makes a lot of pancakes. He makes like a giant fucking stack of them. And he just keeps adding in more butter and he adds like a ton of it at a time. He adds it, and he goes, little more butter. Little more butter and he adds like a half a stick. And it just <laughs> it gets out of control. And a bunch of M&Ms. These M&Ms are melting of M &Ms. all of the pancakes. What I don't understand about him is, is it is it real though? Is that a real pancake making video that this guy did and that said <laughs> they're real pancakes? The internet yes. needs to know. Or they're real. Is this guy just some kind of funny joke that he's doing? I don't. That's I've his seen. genius. I've At the seen. end, he tries to sell the recipe. No, that mm. seems like it's proof that it's fake almost. <laughs> no, you just have to watch it and you'll know. How are you gonna sell a recipe? Real chef. But... The whole like, the whole recipe is use the pancake mix and throw in M and M's and butter. <laughs> no, and you ever cinnamon. see that? Uh, <laughs> ever see that movie Exit Through the Gift Shop by Banksy? No, it's kind of like a, it's like a documentary where you don't know how much of it is staged and how much of it is real. It's, right. He's kind of like that. He's kind of like Banksy in a way, <laughs> but more artistic. Yeah, it is oh, really okay. just. Uh, it's a modern masterpiece. You have to just watch it all the way through to understand, so. Well, I have watched it all the way through, and I'm still confused. <laughs> well, um, well, it I... might be too deep for you. <laughs> Requires repeat viewings. Just like the Star Wars video. I feel like I have literally had repeat viewings of this video. More of every time anything comes more, up, it's what? always... Ten you more. Just haven't seen it Ten more. Time. No, You're just please. supposed to keep watching it until it sinks in. I think for me, my personal... Favorite uh, YouTube video of all time is uh, American Woodcock Shine. What is that? American it's you is know that I here, here's it's it's not it's not inappropriate. A woodcock is a kind of bird. It's a it's a bird that what is the name? It's I think it's American Shine is the name of the song, isn't it? Something like that. It's yeah, it's Shine. It's just called Shine. So yeah, it's that it's that intro where it goes and instead of the guy going yeah it's the bird going <laughs> <laughs> oh i'd like to see that done but with the turtle sound effect that's it 
intestinal hole. Yeah, but that, that would be cheating if you did it with the turtle. <laughs> turtle <laughs> bird, he does it all on his own. Yeah, the timing is the timing is the beautiful part. It is perfect with the song. It lines up exactly, and I don't think there were any oh, camera tricks wow. used. So it's like the bird was made for it. Like he evolved <laughs> to get to that point for that one specific purpose. That's why the video is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's very beautiful, Sean. Yeah, I thought so. You know, a better video than that is uh, Kid <laughs> Reviews Banana Chips and Hot Cheetos. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. This kid with Remember the banana one? chips. He's got Hot Cheetos, a Starbucks Frappuccino, and then he has ketchup and a, a bag of banana chips. <laughs> and in a very rude way, <laughs> he's just asking the world, what's better? <laughs> what's up, fuckers? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be finding out what's better, banana shits or hot Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. He's, puts, he's like eight years old. He puts a bunch of banana chips in his mouth. He goes, "Yeah, it's fucking sick. nasty." What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It sounds hardcore. Yo, get the fuck out of my way! Are you seriously eating banana chips and fucking drinking ketchup? Get the fuck out of here, dude! This fruit tastes good than a bitch. Banana shits. Cause I taste like shit. Banana fuckers. All right. Well, I think Official Pizza Hut uh, might have had a part two to his question. That was a real for Jason, a really tough, hard question. <laughs> but the other question, like, out of all your videos, like, which one do you think like are your favorite out of the videos you've made uh, along the years? Dang. That's uh, a tough one. I thought that Kingdom Hearts one was pretty good, where I described the Kingdom Hearts story. Yeah, that was, I, I especially liked that that one was, I'm going to say it was like 95% accurate. Yeah, which maybe even more. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't sat down and done the math on it, but I think at one point you did say that Eeyore was the, the big bad villain of the entire series. Yeah. And I think that wasn't 100% well, accurate. I think he was like a minor That is yet villain. to be revealed. Oh, see, I haven't played three yet, yeah. so, you know, he still I don't know could. how that one ends. Well, I'm going to tell you, Kingdom Hearts 3, it doesn't uh, resolve any of the anything. <laughs> okay. So we don't Everything find Everything is still up in the air. Well, yeah. I mean, they got to make four, right? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 30, 20 years. 30 years. <laughs> yeah. God. Just right after the, the Final Fantasy VII remake comes out. <laughs> yeah. What, what is up with that? What the hell? Uh, they don't know. They don't have any idea. Dude, it's, it's coming out. It's coming out it's, sometime. It might be coming out. It's not coming out soon or any time in this decade. I think all the directors on it are going to be dead by the time it's out. Because I think the director even admitted like they they tease it way too soon, so they oh, they fucked no. up. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> he did a... He's like, yeah, we uh -oh. just, we had like you know we talked about that over lunch yesterday. I didn't know we'd announce that. <laughs> we have the logo. <laughs> yeah. The old game. They had like a <laughs> teaser trailer though. Yeah. That's the worst part. They they like they discussed it over lunch. Like, yeah, you know what? This sounds like a good idea. Go have the cinematic guys whip up a trailer, and we'll show it off. Like, it's <laughs> we'll say that's the game. Oh, yeah, I say that's the completed game. That company has their hands in like every pot, though. Square, Square. Yeah, Well, they're yeah, a yeah. publisher too, so you know yeah. they they put out like a million games a year. It's crazy. They own every JRPG I think that's ever been released, other than Pokemon. Pretty, pretty much. I mean, the what, the like, the two big ones that you could name off the top of your head, like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. That's like, I mean, that's like ninety percent of JRPGs, right? So. Yeah. Mm. What about Earthbound? That's not them. That's that yeah. game takes place in America. That's not a JRPG. <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> Come on. It's an ARPG. Yeah. ARPG. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, thank you so much, Official Pizza Hut, for coming in the dunk tank with your great question. Well, thank you. This has honestly been amazing. I never thought I'd get the chance to talk to, like, everyone here. Mm, it was nice to meet you. 
Oh, but thanks. Uh, have a good one. All right, man. All right, see you, dude. you. Bye-bye. All right. Next up, we got a guy called Butt-Ass Bitch. I mean, he changed his name to Rocco on Discord, but we know that his name is Butt-Ass Bitch. So bring in him. Bring him in. Hey, it's Mr. Bitch. Hey. I'm Butt-Ass Bitch. <laughs> Butt-Ass Bitch, what's going on? That, that's from your Game Dev Tycoon video. <laughs> You uh, you're here to here to discuss uh, what stock market? Uh, well, uh, I, I've been a very, yes, I've been a very long time fan of yours, and like as a kid growing up on the internet, watching the Akbar series on Newgrounds is probably my fondest oh, memory no. ever. Uh, <laughs> however, being <laughs> as uh, as obscure as it is, it's always been like shrouded in mystery to me. If uh, you could go into detail on what it was like, you know, creating Akbar episodes with your friends, you know, how you thought of that, voiced and animated them, and, like what your life was like around uh, that time. Well, really, a deep dive. Dang. I was probably in high school. I'd say that's correct. I remember first the first Akbar videos. My mic makes this horrible noise. It makes like this every time I start talking. It's like. And then you hear like a fan in the background. I don't know. Control. It's like those are spaceship sound effects. Yeah, you were in a spaceship. Well, for like some reason, you hear the ambient spaceship noise when Akbar is talking. Very, very weird choice there. Yeah, but I think I just the whole style of Akbar. I pretty much ripped off of uh, that one guy. Barbecue beef burger man. <laughs> you ripped it off of barbecue off beef burger man. What about all those feuds we had with barbecue beef burger man? Are you saying that you were in oh, the no, wrong? We were in the right. That guy time? sucks. But yeah, definitely hundred <laughs> percent. He listen. He had robot voices. He had like Microsoft Sam for the. Come mm, on. Yeah. You innovated on it. Oh yeah. Wait, are you saying like he had like a similar animation style? Yeah. Not that he had his own, like, Akbar or Star Wars yeah, series. I came up with Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. his original character. <laughs> so how how did you come up with, like, the stories, though? Like, oh, well, you know? the stories were very, were very deep. Uh, I touched on a lot of political, sociopolitical themes. Uh, there was one where they're chucking basketballs at a basketball hoop and they keep saying balling. <laughs> So was it improv or what? Did you hand blow a script? You know. Well, I was. Guys... I wasn't in, actually in a lot of them, but I was in some of them. But I guess Sage, Josh, my friend, you know, and you know, yeah. our he friend, was in most. Yeah, he was. In pretty he, much was he was in most of them. He was control room guy. But um, yeah, there was definitely some <laughs> kind of horrible script. <laughs> I don't know where where these scripts came from, but there there was yeah, one. I, would, I think maybe I would come up with them on the Skype chat. Just type in some good stuff. Yeah. Did you write down like like Akbar explodes here? Because that uh, happened a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Those all came in in post. <laughs> he didn't actually explode in real time, if you can believe it. There was a lot of ex Akbar exploding. It was just ripping off of everything I liked, like Aqua Teen. I was trying to do something like that. Right, right. Trying to make it kind of natural. Aqua Teen, Aqua Teen has that naturalistic kind of voice acting, you know? Stuff on Newgrounds around that time, right. it was kind of like dilted, kind of forced. Even though Akbar was super, mm -hmm. super shitty, it was a little more naturalistic than like the big stuff you would watch on Newgrounds. All right, it, you had your own. Um page up on Newgrounds, you know how they had the featured things? And it was funny because it was like alphabetical, so Akbar was right up at the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was I pretty like amazing. I was like, dang. Like you got Akbar right the, there up at the top. the top cartoon, Akbar. <laughs> well, the other, my other trick was that I put one out like every other day, so. Right, right. <laughs> so it would always be on. Jeez. <laughs> I'd say that sounds like a lot of work, but uh, I've seen it. So I'll say I'll I'll give you a little insight on one episode. We were on the when we did the Halo Three beta oh, episode, yeah. right? After after we did that one, you know, n normally the it, it was doing pretty good as far as the Akbar episode mm -hmm. goes and views. As as far as it's going, even now, it that probably you know is one of the well. 
I don't know if you're even aware of this, but me and Sage were sitting there. We held the refresh button for like three days. <laughs> Bumped that bad boy up all the way to 75,000. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. We were just fucking. We refresh. The refresh. <laughs> The view system on Newground was busted, clearly. That, yeah, what the heck? They yeah, didn't even like, count IP like, addresses or anything? It's it was just... a pretty good one to, to start with, you know, in far, in terms of views, but we're like, you know, we're just going to run with this. Let's go. How far can we refresh? <laughs> so we got to like 75,000. <laughs> Way above any normal Akbar video at the time. There's another twist to that story, though. I think that one, what? for some reason, that got uploaded to YouTube. I might be thinking of something else, but oh, I think yeah. it was that one. That one got oh, uploaded okay. and had like a ton of views, and all the comments were in Spanish. Hell, like, <laughs> they loved that for some reason. Yeah. And I didn't know what they were saying at all. That's cool. I think I they were probably that. all saying, Why was this in my recommended? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this whole thing? So, was that when you were at that high school that. You know, you went there and then it shut I am down. Millie. My high school that the uh, I got in on the first year and they shut down like a year after I left. Mm. Wow. It's really different. Yeah, you said you like never did homework or anything. You just were just only playing video <laughs> games. Well, like you would have like <laughs> one normal class and then uh, like the rest of the day you could go and do your own project on the computer. Hmm. <laughs> I did a lot of good projects on the computer. I wonder why that got shut down. <laughs> it worked out for me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it did work out pretty well for you, sure. <laughs> All right. Well, Rocco, was there anything else you wanted to know about the Akbar? Uh, um, or otherwise? Well, I was just. Do, do you have any plans for Akbar in the future? Maybe bringing everybody back for one episode mm. that you could upload yeah. to YouTube. Well, well, we'll we'll talk to Disney. We'll see what we can get going. <laughs> we'll work something out with that. Maybe oh. we'll do something for the new uh, Disney Disneyland World. The new Akbar movie they're coming out with. <laughs> Find out how he got his name Akbar. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Rocco, for your question. Get him out of here. All right. All right. See you, Rocco. <laughs> Rocco, bye. Thank you. All right. Last up, we got one more guy. So let's bring him in. Hey, Jack, what's going on? Oh, hey, nothing much. All right. So hit us up, Jack. What's the deal? Yeah. So my question that I wanted to ask, um, this was because I was reminded of Donkey's Game Critics video, was like, what was the first game you played or like more importantly what like what was the first game that you played that like really left an impression on you and kind of like shaped the way like the things that you look for in games when you play them that's a great question mm. jason do you have a i think the first game like... that i played was super mario brothers duck hunt that combo cartridge i think i had that yeah. when i was a kid that's a classic mm. did, you play, did you play the duck hunt at all or was it all just mario brothers? i probably played both I don't know. Yeah, full confession, I've played uh, Duck Hunt off that cartridge more than I've played Super Mario mm -hmm. Brothers. Wow. So, yeah. You know, I think I did as well because Mario Brothers was hard when we were very small. Yeah. And yeah. Duck Hunt was fun because you could stand right up at the TV with the gun right. and shoot I remember right doing on that. Top of the <laughs> yeah. Wow, and look at all you guys. And then later on in life, we flipped and played more Mario than no. that. When I was uh when I was living in Ireland back as a kid, I used to play at my friend's house. He had like I guess it was a Sega something, maybe it was the Dreamcast. And he we we played took turns playing some Sonic game, but I mean other than that though, I didn't play anything until like the N64 basically. Huh. And don't was your first you game on the Sonic? Nintendo 64? Mario, uh, right? Definitely Mario 64, mm. yeah. Yeah. And then Zelda. And yeah, you do hate Sonic, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't I'm not saying I had fun doing it. <laughs> I mean, that guy, Interesting. he was all like, oh, this is my game. You know, of course, because he's... <gasps> <gasps> this is why he hates Sonic. No, 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 the no. The kid no, wouldn't no. share. He wouldn't pass mm. the controller. We're oh, forcing it into the dark past. Look, all right, Sonic, <laughs> screw that guy, okay? <laughs> all right, well, you're you're not going to like my answer then, because... Your friend or 
better Sonic. It better not be Sonic, Sean. I swear to fucking well, God. I swear to fucking uh, God, Sean. I swear to fuck, I'll kill you. This, this is pre- this is okay. So the first game that I ever played, I think I was like three. I was given a Game Gear for, for Christmas. I think it was. I don't remember. Oh, this again. Sonic the Hedgehog Two. <laughs> oh, fuck. That oh no. Was the first video game I ever played. Why and... are you still playing video games? <laughs> well, so that's the thing. I'm thinking about it. So the way I, the way Sonic the Hedgehog 2 worked on the Game Gear was made for the Master System, which has, it, you plug it into a TV, so the resolution is big, and you can see everything on the screen. But on the Game Gear, it's they made the screen tiny, and they didn't, they didn't bother to change the level design at all. So there's a lot of times where you just walk off a cliff into spikes that you couldn't possibly have known about. There's a jump in the middle of the game that I still remember to this day where you just... You're off the top of the screen, so you're like above the boundary of the level, and you have to just guess where you're supposed to land. And if you fuck up, you die because the third <laughs> act that had the bosses in them never had any rings, so you always died in one hit on those on any of the boss mm. fights. So I think That's that how is you the got so good at games. That is the game <laughs> that increased my <laughs> bullshit tolerance to what it is today. I will now put up with that? basically anything. How do you even do the hang later? hang glider part in that game oh my god when i was when i was like four that that puzzle took me like fucking years to figure out (laughs) yeah you have to what you have to do is you have to you get in the hang glider and you have to keep tapping left on it it doesn't make any sense but you just keep tapping left so you just kind of like flit upwards a little bit like a leaf on the wind in a nonsensical way i I think i had to read the manual to find that out oh so it's like the barrels in sonic Mm. 3 yeah, it's exactly. You, you had to exactly. learn how to Same read thing. just to beat that game. That's probably what caused me to like really want to learn how to read, I'm guessing. Sonic <laughs> was the more educated uh, 90s mascot. Yeah, I feel like I did so well in school, partially because of like Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Pokemon. Like just all the oh, fucking yeah. ridiculous fucking move names. You kind of have to get an idea as to what they do. You know, you're like going on a vocabulary test and you're like, oh, seismic toss. I kind of have an idea what seismic is related to. Oh, right. Yeah. Taking a quiz on earthquakes or something. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like fucking Pokemon was like informative as shit. I remember being a really good reader. when. Plus, you got to do the math. You got to fucking be like, all right, what's this guy's health at? Mm. <laughs> kind of did that with the first Animal Crossing 2. Because it's pretty much nothing but reading and then paying Tom Nook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that has good yeah, life lessons true. as well. Video games, very, very educational. They definitely mm-hmm. can be. I think um, my first one, like, actual first one, I'm not too sure. It probably was that same cartridge Jason was talking about, because our first console was the NES from, like, a garage sale kind of thing. Mm. But it came with that and probably some like ice hockey or baseball or something which i was not interested in (laughs) but then like the first real one that i really liked was definitely um super mario bros 3 because we had the whole like handbook on it it told you all the secrets it would just tell you the answers to the match game and then you felt really smart Uh. ah yeah That was the first one I really got into and thought was, you know, really great, so. And I still just, platformers are probably still one of my favorite games, so. Yeah, you love Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, 3. That's like one of your favorites. Yeah. That's understandable. Definitely. I was into weird-ass games when I was a kid. Right, me too, <laughs> for sure. Like, I'll yeah, say this. me too. I was so. Let's get into weird stuff. I was so into, I couldn't wait to get this game that was in the back of the apple whatever magazine or whatever the hell it is you know what i mean for my computer because we had an apple computer so yeah, me too forbid, so right? you couldn't play any yeah. couldn't play you any, couldn't play real, any game real game ever yeah couldn't play doom so there's this one Nothing real. there's this one game 98 it came out it was like uh legacy of time i'm like i can't wait to play this game this game's gonna be the best <laughs> there was a buried in time too and that game was like not even rated for teens or something because there's some murdering that happens submitted to Zerb. yeah but uh yeah so legacy of time though i was like i can't wait for this game to come out it was like a puzzle point and click and i was like dude oh my gosh it's still like one of the it's got to be one of the my favorite games mm-hmm. even today yeah 
You're forgetting though there were good games on Mac, like um, the Zumbinis. Zumbinis, yes. Zumbinis. I always wanted that game when I was a kid. I was not to brag, but I was really good at that. Did you play Math Blaster, babe? Yeah, I played Math Blaster. I played like, yeah. Freddy That's Fish. That's why I was good at math. Ooh, now now I'm thinking Fish. about it. All the stuff I was good at in school is just because I played the video game. <laughs> So I was like really good at math, like way beyond everybody else. I'm like, what is this? Right. I've been playing this on Math Blaster for like yeah. five years. Get the shit out of here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I got super good at typing really fast because of Maple Story. Because you know you gotta mm. be a fast typer on well, well, those well, MMORPGs. Let's, mm. let's not give Maple Story any credit. Around. Here. This is why I'm starting a new school that only uses video games all day. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it School of Games, and we'll invite Jack Black. Let's, we'll workshop the name a little bit. School of Games, <laughs> Jack Black. Come on, he has he yeah. likes games. He's the principal. Yeah. Trying to think, I had like biker mice from Mars. I don't know. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> I picked. I have all my childhood games still. I don't know how I picked these out. Like I had no guide. I was just picking them out by the box art, apparently. Just whatever I thought looked cool. Right, right. That's how kids well, that's, do. That's, yeah. I feel like smarter idea. kids, they like, <laughs> they see like what their like big sibling plays or like what kids are talking about at school or like in a magazine. And like, oh, this game is cool. No, just just the box art. I don't know. I mean, I didn't we have just any got whatever came to us. So it was definitely <laughs> box art. Box. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember going are. into you go into Staples, you see something, you're like, I like Egyptian stuff. You see like this pyramid game, you buy it. It's like a horrible, <laughs> yeah. horrible RTS that's like not even good, and you're like, all right, oh, man, I regret this. But I yeah, I'd go to Toys R Us and I'd just look for Sonic on the cover. Be like, oh yeah, that, give me that oh, one. The, the he's Sonic he's in a car. Game. Sonic, what is this? Sonic Drift? I don't care. He's got Sonic. It's, just give it to me. It's a really garbage. <laughs> racing game on the game gear but it's mine now uh, i got into all the girl games because of that i mean i picked out all hamtaro i mean i picked all the nintendo games because they did they had cute stuff going on but then i ended up with like the nintendogs and the yeah the well, nintendo was a classic yeah <laughs> oh barbie nes Okay, there's no way no, that was good. That's not good. That was good. Play Little that, Mermaid man. NES. <laughs> that was good. What about you, Jake? What what games did you play when you were little? So let's so like when I was growing up, I watched my older brother play Super Mario 64 a bunch. Mm. Uh -huh. And for whatever reason, I don't remember why, I was convinced that I hated video games, oh, even though I had okay. never played a, a video game okay. in my life. Right. Uh, bring in the executioner. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So, let, let him tell his story of redemption. I, I got really lucky, I guess, because, like, my family rented Super Smash Brothers, like, the very first one from Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. And that was the first game I ever played. And, like, I absolutely fell in love with it and, like, did a full 180. Could you imagine how fate would have twisted? If his parents rented Superman for the N64. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't think I ever beat Mario 64 until I was like 18. I think that's the first time I beat it. Yeah. I feel like the first time I actually beat it was like with the DS one. Oh, God. And then I went back and like played the N64 one. Oh, my that God. Counts. Yeah. Mario 64 DS. That game is stupid. That's a weird, that's such a weird <laughs> game. The whole game is built around the analog stick. And that was like the launch yeah. title for the DS and it had no analog stick. <laughs> it's just like the weirdest idea. I remember playing those mini games on Mario 64 DS more than the actual game. Yeah, hmm. I, honestly, I agree with that completely. It had like the little yeah. slots things and stuff. I can't even remember them now, but I remember it was yeah, all with the touch screen. You pulled the bomb bombs back. And you have to, it's like Defender or what's it, Missile Command with bombs? Oh, yeah. You just shoot right. bomb bombs in the air. And that's that one where you make trampolines. Those were fun. They used to make good mini games to add on to like their handheld game versions of things, like the Donkey Kong <laughs> Country one. And it had the dancing mini game with what? Candy Kong. Yeah, like DDR kind of. 
But on a Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Remember uh, Mario Brothers 2 on Game Boy Advance? With the Birdo? Yeah, it had... It, Birdo was <laughs> talking Birdo? in that one. Yeah. No, Come here, Mario! Here. <laughs> what the fuck? No, it didn't sound it like, like that. This is as far <laughs> as you go. Something like that. Oh, <laughs> no, that was perfect. Oh, no. Birdo forever. <laughs> Goodbye, Mario. <laughs> it's me, me Birdo. All right, I did pull up the video, and I can confirm that Birdo does not actually sound like a sixty-year-old uh, chain smoker. <laughs> yeah. Nah, darn. But she, th that does—that is not to say that she sounds good. What though. does she say? Oh. This is as far as you go. Yeah, to me, Birdo will always be not talking, just playing tennis. <laughs> I think it's better that way. Yeah. How it should always be. Just that one. Come here, Mario. It's me, Birdo. <laughs> that is not what Birdo sounded like. Get the fuck and you out hit him. Here. He goes, "Oh God, Mario, <laughs> you really killed me on this one." I'm telling you, this is exactly how we're going down. <laughs> it was so weird. It was like a horror game. A horror game <laughs> to have Birdo talk. <laughs> that was the only scary part yeah. of the whole game. I played that game like a million times, but I never played that version. So you just go up there and just see Birdo starts talking. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, imagine if a Goomba started talking. <laughs> oh, hello there, Mario. Jump on his head. <laughs> oh, God, Mario. <laughs> oh, why would you do this to me, Mario? <laughs> Please. Every time you kill a Goomba? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why? My family. <laughs> <laughs> guilt trip Mario ruin the whole game. <laughs> well, I think we better wrap up on that topic, but thank you so much, Jack the Hat Guy, for coming in here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks, Jack. See you Alrighty. later. Bye bye.